Hi there, everybody. My name is Daryl, and this is another YouTube video about shopping at the Goodwill outlet bins. So I'm gonna show you all the stuff I got on my last trip. And um, I've got the, uh, the comps and how much I paid for it all in the description box. And so check that out if you're so inclined. This is a sparkly dress. And this is the way it's supposed to be worn. This is from Express. And um show you this. It's got a, a little blouse on waist here. And I think it's fine, but I actually like it better this way, which is much cuter uh, if you ignore the foundation garment there, but I do think it's a uh, cuter like this with the plunging neckline. And I would probably wear it with, uh, so it actually plunged. <laughs> so what else? So this is a blazer. It's a stretch polyester. This is from DKNY. And it has shearing on the sleeves and this is what it looks like. <laughs> my clicker isn't working with my Bluetooth, so you get me coming up to have my face smack in the middle of the camera. <laughs> okay, so this is a silk dress. It's vintage. The brand is Argenti. And I paired it up with the belt. It had a self belt with it. And you can mess around with the sleeves. There's ties at each shoulder. So you can cinch this all up here like this. Um, and it has this sort of asymmetric pocket, which I think is, I don't know. I don't hate it, but I don't know if I like it either. <laughs> and then it is, I just, I think it has a lot of um, potential. Okay, but I also think it is a lot cuter, shorter, because otherwise it just looks, it just screams 80s too much to me and not in a good way. So I may have to figure out what I can do with that. I don't know what to do with my foundation garment on this one. So you're just going to have to like scrunch your eyes up a little bit or something, pretend it doesn't exist. Um, this is a lounge dress. And this is from Commando. And it's a lot like um, the lounge dress from Skims. It's a super stretchy, lightweight fabric that it just feels really good against your skin. And uh, I don't know, I could probably use some more. Can I, can I put on like two or three compression garments? <laughs> Actually, it's very comfortable, <laughs> and uh, I think it would make a great um, vacation piece because you could wear it for all kinds of things. Okay, cute little basic day dress. This is from Wilfred Free, and it's a viscose and it's fully lined. And um, I don't know, you know, you could put stuff over it or whatever. It's just kind of a classic. Okay, so I'm gonna show you this in two different ways because I can't decide really um, what it is. Uh, it's Anthropology, the brand is Floria. And so here's what it looks like with heels. Oh, it is so cozy and comfortable. And so now check this out because I've seen some descriptions of this as being um, a sleep dress. And so while it is a cotton fabrication, it's got a lot of details um, that work uh, as a dress. So here you go. <laughs> oh, these feel good. <laughs> I'm ready to go lounge somewhere. <laughs> So I'm going to show you a bunch of sweatshirts now. Uh, it was kind of a sweatshirt sort of day. And I've got them paired up with these cute um, V-waist uh, flare leggings. These are from Offline, which is an airy brand. 
and they are really lightweight and stretchy and comfortable. So this is kind of a garment dye sweatshirt. It's from Zara. This is another sweatshirt. This is from Banana Republic. And I can't really decide what to do with the, the waist here. It's like, it's, it's kind of neither here nor there. So you know, see what I mean? It, want, it doesn't want to stay up if I, if I want to maybe blouse it up a bit. And the half tuck is kind of bulky. And the, I guess I could wear it like this. Maybe that's the way you're supposed to wear it. I don't know. <laughs> this is probably my favorite one out of the bunch. Uh, this is a pale yellow color and it's a super, super lightweight terry cloth. So um, it's uh, really suitable for spring and summer and uh, it's not heavy at all. You can easily do the half tuck here. Um, it doesn't have, or I can't read what the brand is, but I'm just assuming it's a super expensive deluxe sweatshirt. <laughs> this is a um, kind of a heavy cotton blazer and it's missing a button right here. Um, and it's a fitted style and this is from Free People. And I just think it'll look cute over any kind of summer stuff, so. So I'm gonna try a couple of things here. I'm not really sure how well they're gonna work. Um, so, uh, you know, that's part of the deal here is sometimes things work and sometimes they don't. But I'm trying to style these pants. These are from Zara and they're a high rise with a bit of a low crotch or a drop crotch. And so I'm kind of trying to figure, figure them out. Um, the top is from American Eagle, and I love it. It's eyelet. It's, uh, it's going to go pretty much with everything. So um, let's see if I can find something else to go with these pants. Dang it. <laughs> okay, so this top is from Wilfred Free, and it's cropped piece. And we'll see what this looks like with the pants. Kind of neither here nor there, huh? But let's see how it goes with the the free people jacket. You can pretend that's like real skin color there, huh? <laughs> so really, with my with my uh, this could be kind of cute. Guess I could kind of do this. I think the cropped um, bit and the fitted top kind of play with the exaggerated bottoms. So, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so this is a fairly current cashmere piece. This is from All Saints. And um, I alternate between wishing it were a size bigger and thinking that it's perfect. So, <laughs> and I've got it paired up with these pleat front silk joggers that are from Eileen Fisher. And uh, definitely a keeper, a little bit shorter than I would like, um, but I think overall that they will be uh, a great piece to keep. These are a small petite. So another super cute outfit. This is top is from BCBG and it's a silk overlay and it has this ribbed piece that is underneath it. And I've just kind of bloused it up. And then these pants are from Amadi and these are um, an anthropology brand. Absolutely dig them. These are just too cool. So now if I could just remember all these outfits when I'm getting dressed and need to go somewhere. Who am I kidding? I don't go anywhere. <laughs> except the bins, I go there. So I'm not really sure where I would wear this. This is a bodysuit. <laughs> and um, I actually really like it. The first thing though that came to mind is this awesome jacket. This is from Zara and um, 
granted, it has just finally gotten warm enough to put stuff away here. Um, but I kind of like the, uh, the shiny and the hologram. <laughs> so I'll put the jacket away. Um, for, for summer, but it'll come back out this fall. <laughs> okay, this top is from Free People and it is really long. It's a, definitely a tunic top. And um, here's the Lululemon sweatpants. And you know, I do wish that they would make, I, these all seem to be a little bit short for me. And yeah, I'm almost five foot nine but I don't have long legs, so I don't know what the deal is. Um, so I imagine they're okay with sneakers or what have you, but I would appreciate them being a little bit longer. So I went all the way back to the beginning of this video and nabbed this Zara sweatshirt to wear with these sweet Caslon linen shorts. They've got an elastic waist and a drawstring. Uh, Probably my favorite kind of shorts for summer. Okay, so this is an Athleta fitness top here. Super cute, cropped length comes to about here. And then this is a Free People um, tank. And you know, it's one of those ones you, you need to lay down on the tables to make sure you've got all your things going the right way because otherwise they're impossible to put on. Um, this took and I even knew what I was doing and it took a couple of tries. <laughs> uh, but I like these in the summertime. They're really super good cover-ups and um, you know, and if you don't wanna have a lot of things sticking to you when it's really hot, so. Okay, so you'll have to imagine this with the correct undergarments on underneath it. Right now, what I've got isn't exactly perfect, but I like this top so much that I've washed it twice and it's now finally doesn't have any spots on it and it's kind of damp still. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm not gonna keep it on for very long, <laughs> but I just love this piece. It's from Free People and um, I've actually owned it before in white and I just got rid of it um, because I haven't worn it in all the time I've owned it. and But I will wear this in orange, uh, my new favorite color. So uh, this is kind of nice. It had some spots on the front and thankfully they came out. Yay. <laughs> Love this t-shirt. This is from J. Crew. This is from Halogen and I've, Got this in white, I have it in black, and now I have it in this color. <laughs> Just a good classic tee for easy to dress up and easy to dress down. So this top, I just read somewhere yesterday that crinkle gauze, this lightweight stuff, is the fabric. And this is from ASOS, and I'm just gonna keep it on like this, um, uh, but you can obviously tie it up. You can do all kinds of stuff with it. I absolutely love it, and it's an inexpensive summer piece. Um, I have to mention that most of these pieces that I get at the bins, um, I just pop them in the washing machine and dry them flat, and I don't have to iron them. I don't have to do anything. They turn out just fine, and um, a lot of times, whatever was wrong with them rectifies itself in the wash. So um, I've had a lot of success with that. So I have to tell you guys that sometimes when I'm recording, I'm not paying that close of attention to whether my red dot is a solid red dot or if it's a square inside the circle, which means the difference between me doing video that is the stuff I mean for you to see or me doing video that I don't want anybody to see. <laughs> so I am now redoing about four segments of this video. <laughs> this top, um, again, is the American Eagle top, and I just think it's awesome. And um, really happy with these jeans. These are from Zara, and um, they're a button fly, and they have a, um, 
kind of a kick flare hem. Here we go. And I have to thank, you know, all the people that get the denim all pre-worn in for me because I love it. And I really, really like these. I will probably keep these on the rest of the day. So these jeans are pretty awesome. I was hoping that they would be, uh, you know, an upscale men's European brand, but they're not. <laughs> but they're from a brand called um, Minimal, M-N-M-L, and they run about $70. These are literally brand new. Uh, they have a button fly and um, they're 100% cotton. Um, and of course, you know, they're a men's fit, although which, what's weird is that they're bigger right through here and slimmer right through here, so I don't know. Anyway, I like the, uh, the hem, and I'll show you a close-up uh, because there's an inset piece of fabric in there, which I thought was really cool. My top, in case I didn't mention it, is my all-time favorite Madewell. Okay, and so here is the, uh, here's what the the hemline looks like on these, which is really what drew me to them. And the more I put them on, which is three times now, <laughs> um, the more I like them. And so I think that the denim will stretch a little bit and um, and they'll be pretty workable. So um, this is a practically brand new cashmere sweater from Charter Club. Uh, it's a great fit for me. I'll put it away until fall, um, but it is really in perfect brand new condition. So I look like I've got on my tennis whites. <laughs> and that would probably suffice, wouldn't it? Um, the skirt, or the skirt, I should say, is from um, Jones, New York and it has a drawstring and elasticized waist. And I haven't ever worn a squirt anywhere ever, I don't think. Um, but I've gotten used to what they look like and, and now I'm pretty much on board. So I will keep this, I'll probably wear it this summer. And um, see it's got nice shorts. Would be really handy if like some of the uh, the uh, TikTok brands and the YouTube brands, if they had a pocket here under the skirt. I think that's an awesome detail <laughs> that all manufacturers should consider. <laughs> so this is a 100% cotton top. This is from a brand called Azalea. And um, I just think it's a really cute summer piece. Probably could wear it with just about anything. I think it works well with the squirt and it is lightweight enough that you can do um, you know a half tuck or even a full tuck with it so I love this whole outfit again the the uh, Madewell t-shirt and these um, awesome pants which are from CP shades and they're a baby or a micro corduroy and they are a full leg cut with that flat front and an elasticized waist and just this nice kind of ankle length, which I think looks really good, really fresh. Okay, this is uh, just an easy, inexpensive um, cami tank from Paper Crane. And I don't know if you can see well in the uh, video that it's got two layers here. Um, so there's a layer here and then this second hemline and what I think works well is to tuck in the bottom and then just have this kind of breezy um, top so I wanted to I don't know that I would wear it with these pants but I don't want it uh, my uh, next pair of pants are black and so I do want you to be able to see um, a little bit of the detail on this so getting to the end, you guys, um, cute, cute piece. This is the piece I had underneath, um, oh, something a while ago. <laughs> it's from Athleta. And then these um, 
pants or a uh, rollover waist. Look at this. Here. Oh, look what I could do if I wanted. Huh. That's interesting. Maybe that's what it's supposed to do. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, anyway, these are uh, like a, uh, a jogger or a harem pant, which I love. This is the Lululemon Pima Cotton Tee. I think you can see the logo there. I don't know. Can you? <laughs> and uh, just a nice comfy top. I love it. This is athleisure at its best in my life. You know, um, there's no reason why you, you don't need, you, you can't look pulled together, but still be pretty darn comfy, huh? So one last piece. And then that's it, folks. Okay, you guys, this is it. This last piece is probably a very inexpensive piece. It's from a brand called Zelly for She. And um, I, you know, I think it is like an extra, extra large, if maybe even bigger, but let me show you this. <laughs> so considering I am not putting myself into that size, range quite yet. I wear pretty much a 10. <laughs> um, and generally even a medium top. Um, so um, maybe this was meant to be very stretchy and form-fitting, but I like it the way it is and I am not paying any attention to what the size is. I It's sparkly. So Ever since I started begging you guys to subscribe, I've gotten, I think, maybe four new subscribers. So I, I'm, I'm begging again, okay? Please subscribe. I only need now like 670, no, more than that. Anyway, you get my drift. <laughs> so if you like to watch the stuff that's coming from the bins, you know, um, I'm not gonna stop going. Um, and I do like to make the videos, but I would love to take you along with me. So thanks for watching you guys.